and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Rakdos zombies. That's right, we have our last donation deck of the day. We've had four decks that uh, were designed by other people, honestly, and uh, all donation decks, and that's what we're going to be playing today. This one is pretty straightforward. We are being an aggro deck, and we're going to try to beat down with some zombies. So we're not just mono black, we are red black because of, most notably, this new card, Dreadhorde Butcher, awesome, awesome zombie warrior um, that has, you know, the two mana, one, one haste whenever we deal damage to a player or planeswalker. That's right, if we're attacking planeswalker too, we get to put counters on it. And then whenever it dies, deal and damage to any target. Just a really, really solid card. Uh, also with being red, black and being aggressive, we get all these Judiths as well even though judith is not a zombie it does pump up all of our other zombies and uh gets all the uh, triggers and everything um gutter bones isn't a zombie either but it is a skeleton for death baron death baron does have skeletons or zombies so that works out pretty well for us um one card that i really like these days is carnival carnage i think this card's pretty solid um mind death with the twitch prime sub welcome to the channel thank you very much for that support mind death Uh, Carnival Carnage these days, I like it. Basically, I like things that can deal a damage to a Planeswalker for the uh, three mana to fairy whenever that comes down and minuses. You can just play a Carnival and take it out right away. I like that quite a bit. And this can also be on our four mana slot of like dealing three damage and discarding two. I like this card. Uh, it takes out all the Explorer creatures, Land War Elf, lots of Land War Elves running around. Um, we have the Captain of Chaos to amass and give our creatures menace and i'm i'm real skeptical of us actually casting lily on a dread horde general in a 22 land deck but uh, the designer of the deck says that they're casting liliana and doing well with it so uh we'll we'll see how liliana goes our sideboard very straightforward just four cards <laughs> four 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 three we got duress we got so we have like our discard we have our removal we have our card advantage and we have our sweeper <laughs> so that's what we got uh, I'm pretty skeptical of Theater of Horrors doing work these days with all these Teferis bouncing enchantments and stuff uh, but it can ping Planeswalkers so that's pretty cool but alright let's that's our deck let's try to eat some brains and kill opponents quickly with Rakdos Zombies here yeah it's a pretty simple sideboard plan we got we got our four cards if if we don't want any of those four cards, then we didn't need to sideboard. <laughs> yeah, Judith Death Baron. That is that is pretty awesome. Death Baron giving all your creatures death touch. And getting like those. So then like they don't want to block. Yeah. We got some good synergies here. All right, keep. I'm not sure if Dreadhorde Invasion will be too slow. We'll kind of see. It gives our deck some staying power. Wait, am I on the... Am I on the play or the draw? On the play, I want to keep this. On the draw, I want to put it on the bottom. Why doesn't it just tell me if I'm on the play or the, bo on the, play or the draw? We're on the play? Okay, well, we'll put it on the bottom then. Orange thing bottom right tells you. Oh, was there something down here that told us? Tenth District Legionnaire deck. Interesting. Man, Dreadhorde Butcher is awesome. Hmm. 
Hmm. We don't really need to attack with this 2 2 butcher. We won't get to do anything. Deliver us to victory. Hmm. So the Legionnaire is a 5-5. Five five. Wow, that's a good one. So they block like the 3-2. They take 7. Doesn't really kill them. Was not strong enough. Swifty. Swifty, so good. Alright, so what do they got? They got some things to make their creatures indestructible. Alright, this thing has a lot of text on it. So you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, that creature gains first strike, you gain two life. Six damage, right there. One damage right there, one damage right there. Judith is great. Dreadhorde Butcher, awesome. Just dies, gets to deal another six damage. All right, so widespread brutality. I feel like we want like bedevils, duresses, widespread brutality, and probably not all of that. But like, are we turning into like a control deck here? Is that our plan? We don't need the captain, the chaos, or the carnage. Um, we don't really need all of these one drops. Let's trim one Judith. The ghouls. Liliana is like unbeatable if it resolves, but will this thing? Card's it's perfect. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of one Liliana and one more Judith. I guess we probably just cut some gutter bones on the draw. 
We'll just do that. We'll just cut some gutter bones. Yeah, it's a feather deck. I think I want the I want the Dreadhorde invasions because they make my widespread brutality good. Like I I want those. I want that combo together. I mean, Bedevil's a good card, but I want I want mana. Uh, you're good, VT log. I think. Uh, I think Gatsby just hit the wrong button. Yeah. There's misclicks. This is probably a burn spell for the Dreadhorde Butcher. So let's just get this invasion going. This is a good combo too of like giving giving the zombie death touch and then brutality kind of thing. It's a pretty nice combo. All right, was well, not any shocks or lightning strike or anything like that. Prison Realm. Six mana is easy. 22 lands. Easy. Just hit five land drops. Right away, all we need is one more. I guess I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that the six mana is easy yet, considering we don't have six mana. Talking too, too fast there. <laughs> it's all, it's all good, Gatsby. Yeah, maybe it's actually really hard. Maybe you just get stuck on five mana. So they've wanted to change, turn into the control deck also. We're two control decks. Good thing we have the Dreadhorde Invasion. Very good in the, the removal mirror. <laughs> what if I just lightning strike my own tokens so they don't get to draw a card? Be like, no, no draw a card. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's try this first. So we'll strike it. And I'll have three damage on it. Then I'll get plus three from the dive down. So basically countering the dive down here. And then widespread brutality. Boom. All right, so we know they have a dive down in hand. Dive down doesn't do too much against Liliana's minus ability, but by now we have this pretty big army that we've amassed. Oh, 
I mean, this is just lethal. What, what you got? What you got? Ah, the justice strike. Warrior Queen Necromancer. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Yeah, we got to six mana in our 22 land deck. Maybe this Dreadhorde General is not as hard to cast as I thought. So many lands. We have like half the lands in our deck in our hand. Close to it. <laughs> yeah, we've had a really good day today, win loss wise. Yeah, we have. Yeah, Jeskai Control did awesome for us. From today, which deck was my favorite? Probably one of the middle two. I mean, I guess those were like the strongest ones. I guess like my favorite as in like just a, like an idea of a deck. And like, is this, this is probably my favorite deck. But the, the strongest ones are the middle two. Yeah, Selesnia Cats did surprise me for sure. Sacrifice our, our own creatures. Yeah, we could bedevil our, our own thing. We could play another Judith. I mean, we had just so many different lines there to finish that one out. I wanted to do the Liliana, sac the Liliana Minus. I don't know how much we'll actually cast Liliana. Maybe we'll cast Liliana here. Pug in a blanket. All right, we're one to know. Slow down. Just have like the three cards left. You know, maybe they won't have like enough like other land drops and things to play. Like maybe they just have like one or the other. I regret shocking. I regret everything. 
I was just focused on playing the Death Baron, but now actually I should I should just kill this Growth Chamber Guardian right now. Alright, cost myself two life. Alright, go down to six. We'll have a double Lazotep Reaver. <clears throat> Defense. Oh no! No! Ow! Ugh. Well, even if I wouldn't have shocked, we'd still die to this Hellkite. Hellkite's so mean. So mean. Um. Hmm. They even have like mana creatures they could sacrifice. Let's get rid of these Lilianas and put in some Bedevils or put in Brutalities. Brutalities, pretty great. Pretty great. Let's get a bunch of Brutalities in here. And minus one, uh, minus one invasion. Nah, we need invasion. Minus one. I like Carnival, killing Lanwar Elf. I guess that's kind of about all it does. I guess that is like all it does in their deck is just Lanwar Elf. All right, we'll get rid of those and play a Bedevil also. All right. Yeah, Judith's useful for sure. Yeah, I like Hel I like Hellkite. I like Hellkite these days with the haste. I think the haste is really important with all the planeswalkers around. Um, so yeah, I like I like Hellkite quite a bit. All right, we'll start with the invasion. We'll get that going right away. Oh man, do we go double invasion? We're gonna be losing some life. Losing some life. But if we No, we can't we can't have it be a 6-6 six, six next turn. Land drop, please. Yep, that link right there, Shadow Sapiens, that's where you can find it. So this allows me to, yeah, if they do double block, we can rebuild pretty fast since we just use the Death Baron here. 
And we still get to take out both of them. It's a lot of forests. No rekindling Phoenix or Hellkite. Good for us. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence. What's that? Now and then. Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Yeah, yeah, one calf net would do. Yeah, you can you can replace the calf net with whatever. Skirmish you can walk away from, right? Just killing the Domery. Maybe I'm playing a little too safe. It is one big army. But the Domri is like their other red mana. So now they have like more Phoenixes, Hellkites, that kind of stuff. They don't have they didn't have the second red unless they of course draw a red source. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. What's up, Zealous? You think nature is kind? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. So number 15 on the day. Alright, going to game three. So Angrath on the draw, I don't like as much. I feel like they're going to be able to attack Angrath pretty well and everything. Let's get some more Bedevils in here instead. I'm going to get two Bedevils in there. And then, yeah, even over over a Diagraph Ghoul. Is that card really going to do very much for us? Maybe not. Let's get that fourth Bedevil in here. Get some removal. And <laughs> this is the true Amass deck. That's true. We got another amass theme in here. Theater is going to come in against removal heavy decks. Oh, this brutality is just going to kill all my things. Got to keep that thing from becoming a 4-4 and getting more Elf Crab Warriors. Zombies. Zombies. Yeah, the, this Dreadhorde Invasion, whenever you attack with a token that's that has... Power six or greater, uh, then you gain life. I'm probably just going upstairs with this lightning strike. I think it's all about red mana for them right now.
No red mana. No win. And Recto Zombies is 2 0. Let's keep this going. Thank you so much for that donation, Yud, for a song request. Let's see what you got. I'll get this up here. I have to make sure it plays through Spotify. Okay, it was. Perfect. Yeah, the deck donors are picking picking well tonight. <laughs> yeah, you never know, Project Vanner. Maybe it will. Good old one drop, one drop, Judith on the play with the opponent not doing anything, and then we can give them all menace next turn. I like this one. So, Espa Control. If you want it, fight for it. All right, they're down to five. Uh, no, we didn't get to cast Liliana. So am I supposed to bring in these theater horrors against the control deck is the main question. I kind of think the answer is no. I don't know, they'll just mortify it or whatever. What if we just play some duresses? And not Carnage and not Death Baron. I guess we'll play two theaters over the other two Death Barons. Or I guess we'll take out one Judith. One Death Baron. All right. We'll go with the other theaters. All right, here we go. Three theater. Uh, no, I'm not sure they're not playing Esper Hero. Could definitely be Esper Hero. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, their Esper Mortify Concede. Hey, what's up, 619? Welcome. Yeah, between Mortify and Little Teferi, I'm pretty worried about these Theater Fours, but <laughs> we're bringing it in. Let's see how it does. It's like, what, what card doesn't look like it belongs in here? It's probably not the six mana card. I mean, just a great hand for us again, though. In case it is a theater deck, I do have a little bit of removal. Hmm. Not a theater deck. All right, a hero deck, sorry. That's why I was, I was meaning to say hero, in case they were a hero deck. 
Hey, what's up, Fat Butters? Thanks for that resub for the fifth month in a row. This is best five months of my life. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you so much. Well, maybe we can get to Liliana this game. Cry the Carnarium still good. Oh, I need to update this over here. Sixteenths of the day. Lame. Wanted, so basically, I, normally I think I'd rather just like play the, like just hit them with the theater horrors there, but I really wanted to snag a five mana Teferi if possible. Worked out well. Dang, they're back up to 20 now. These absorbs are killing me. I'm not gonna have more absorbs, right? Seriously? No, I like no dagger craft ghoul is good. Like the the two power is is pretty nice. Well, Theater Force has gotten through like all these lands. We're gonna have to just start drawing a, finding a bunch of spells, right? So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of our twenty two lands. Once this <clears throat> Yeah, I mean the theater horrors have been real clutch. Once this as Kanta flips though, it's gonna be trouble for us. As long as our opponent doesn't have a Mortify for the Theater of Horrors, we're actually going to... Like, we're doing pretty fine, honestly. You know, we still have four cards in our hand. Oh, I should just play the Gutter Bones. I don't care if that thing gets... Uh, I, I guess I do kind of care if Cry of the Carnarium. Basically, I don't want to just, like, overextend the board too much for a Sweeper. Well, so much for keeping theater horrors around. Now as Kanta should be able to bury us, but maybe we'll draw another theater or a Liliana or, you know, anything like that. Oh, 
Oh, you can't see us can't after the flip with a with the card viewing. Maybe that is a, a bug with Deckmaster. With Deckmaster, Deckmaster was just like how you can view the cards and everything. That's a program called Deckmaster. That was just made by you know a, just a regular I don't know programmer or something like that was just made by some person. That's not a, a Wizards of the Coast thing. Judith had summoning sickness. I couldn't attack with Judith last turn. All right, so that's ten lands. It's about it's about right for where we're at with twenty three cards. We drew a bunch of spells there. Could have certainly used. Mind and body so really, we want another theater or a Liliana, or an Angrath, Dreadhorde Butcher. These lightning strikes are pretty bad. Basically, we lose out on one point of damage of like what a lightning strike would have done to them. But we get that contempt out of there. Overwhelming. Basically, at the end of the day, the, the Narset traded for two two lightning strikes. Um, but we also got a contempt out of their deck. Attack. Yeah, and we get to keep this Gutter Bones, which is a nice, valuable card. We fought through three absorbs. They gained nine life. I think if they didn't have that nine life. Whiffed on Azkanta? Wow. Yeah, ten mana. Why don't we have Banefire? Obviously, our 22 land deck, we're going to be sitting here with 10 lands. Obviously. Why don't we have a Ulamog? I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, that was a good song. I liked it. I guess when we have Theater of Horrors in our deck, we should just be playing all of our lands out. We should be making our land drops because then we can like play Theater and then ping them a bunch. What? 
Ooh, can't cast it yet. Come on our own Liliana. No. I should just eat a removal spell. Kanta is still busted. I can't beat that. I require servants. Your corpse no, will be here. This looks like a fun new toy. Alright, I need to take these lightning strikes out and so it is I need to have play Bedevil instead of Lightning Strike. Yeah, I need that. It's a better change. Oh, I probably. Should, oh, yeah, I should have got that fourth theater in. I forgot that we don't have all, that. I didn't put all four theaters in. I should put the fourth one in. That one was really good. <laughs> Thanks, Pickle Slick. Yeah, we've been been having a real good week here on the stream. Lots of wins. Not very many losses. Wow. Good hand, good hand. Really hope we draw <clears throat> really hope we draw this third land. Really a fourth land too. But of course, always don't lead with duress before the creature. Got to lead, lead with the creature, get like where you can start doing some damage. You know, then we'll, we'll duress on turn 2. We don't need to duress on turn 1. Plus, they have, like, the scry here. Maybe they, like, keep something on top that they want, and then they draw it next turn, and then we'll dress it away. All right, well, they're scrying to the bottom anyway, but always lead with the creature first. Yeah, Nicholas Cage duress. Man, if we just had that last game where we had so many lands, and then we have this one where we don't get to hit any lands, that'd be sad. Um... I guess I'm gonna take that because I could take my theater. Land. Yay. That was a good land too. Turns on Bedevil. There are so many mysteries. <laughs> yeah. That elder spell is gonna get me. What? That card's not fair. All right, so we're going to send two at Narset, one at them. So I want to turn on, I want to be able to play this land. So turn that on, play that land. Uh, Narset can't minus anymore. So we're good there. And we can, we can ping the, like the Narset to kill it with this theater horrors or something. But I don't want to let them impulse again. Do that. All right, we'll just kill it with this. My mind needs a rest. Hmm.
I don't necessarily think... I don't necessarily think that playing Judith is better than playing Angrath that last turn, but I do really, I do really value getting the cards out, out of Theater of Horrors, because it's really easy for them to kill Theater of Horrors and then those cards go away. So I, I do really like getting, getting the cards out of there all the time. Sorry, I'm hurry. We're making waffles. Thanks for that resub there. Four months in a row. You are awesome. Man, I could use some waffles right now. Waffles sound really, really tasty. All right, so what are we doing this turn? I guess we're attacking Teferi. I don't want like an absorbed to Time for plan B. counter that. Bedevil. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. There we go. Three and O. Oh. The powder the power of theater of horrors. All right, three and O. Oh. GG's. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? All right, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh no. Mono white. Do not really want to face the other aggro decks. I guess we got the widespread brutalities in the board. Those are going to be clutch. Whoops. I thought I was playing this. Alright, Dreadhorde Invasion. Come on down. I guess I think I trade like two for two damage, especially with having Judith and everything. Snubby. Yeah. I'm glad I attacked, but I'm not really glad my opponent has a Venerate Luxodon. Creatures are so big. Are you kidding me? I just have another one? Creatures are too big. Ooh. That was like the best card we could possibly have. So Judith is the thing that deals the damage to every target, unfortunately, whenever the, the creatures die. It's not the creatures deal damage to the targets. Otherwise, that would be that would be really nice for Death Baron purposes. Can't you have like some more lands in hand? Okay. So we're 
we're going to kill this, kill this. That's one gutter bones trigger. Guess we kill this too. With this. That's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. <laughs> that's my that's my empty water bottle. Been knocking over. Why is that diagraphical have to be tapped? That one's done. All right, so we need all these brutalities. And I think Liliana's going to be too slow. Same with Angrath. Angrath can't give us multiple bodies, though, which could be nice. Yeah, that was a lot of really good cards. Just three lands, three Venerate Luxodons, and Venelish Marshall, History Benalia. And then a bunch of one drops. That's what they're. That's exactly what they want their their deck to be. They want to stop at exactly three lands, and just have all one drops, and then a couple, you know, like one history, one one Bellish Marshal, and a whole bunch of Venerate Luxodons. It's just exactly what they want. <clears throat> 
So I'd rather trade creatures than trade damage. Considering when they have cards like Venerate, Luxodon, Conclave Tribunal, all these Ascend things, the more permanents they have on the battlefield, the more creatures and everything, the better for them. I think this turn we can... We got this other 1-1 one, one to block. Oh, right. Duh, that pumps that up to 3. Whoops. <laughs> so some blocking. Please do not refer to Dex as Cancer. Please do not do that. That cheapens the very real and terrible battles that people have with Cancer. So I should have dealt one more damage. Should be at 17. We'll see if that's going to come back to bite me. I I think I like Growth Chamber Guardian more than the Haste Goblin in the Gruel deck. But I could be convinced of playing... Yeah, you know, I could basically could be convinced of playing the uh, Haste Goblin instead. Could be convinced of playing Thorn Lieutenant instead also. Start drawing spells. I would be able to Liliana here. Should have kept Liliana in here. Yeah, that's my... Sp yep, there you go. Thanks, Yud. Yeah, that's my Spotify playlist right there. Blah. I don't think it, this is attack. Um, makes it like a real easy flip for them for like their legions landing. We're just pretty dead at this point. I mean, we need widespread brutality. You know, like that's that's the card we need. Widespread brutality would be very nice. It's eleven. Come on, brutality. Jeez.
<laughs> Alright, playing this like we're drawing widespread brutality next turn. Here it is. Hawkeye, what are you doing? Did, did Hawkeye mess up the stream? Can y'all still see this, the, the channel and everything? Okay, you can still see me and... Okay, I can't. Okay, there we go. I figured it out. Hawkeye just like basically made my OBS screen go away. Um, said it disabled the preview, so I couldn't I couldn't see like the the screen at all in my OBS, and I couldn't you know go over there to change the record or anything. But I figured out how to get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye just. Lying down on whatever key. All right, three and one. Got to fight back. All right, Ivad, take care. Have a good night. Got to fight back here to get to the final boss. Hmm. That's not a card you see very often. I don't really want to trade my but Dreadhorde Butcher for that right now. Okay, they have death touch now. So this has got to be blue black, right? Yeah, this is a blue black deck. Are they going to feel the rune during combat? Ugh. No, feel the rune in the tap land during combat. Not the, un not the untap land. No. Yeah, Death Baron's been awesome. So I'll probably just cast Carnage next turn, make them discard to deal three, send three upstairs. I think that's the plan. Yeah, I, I don't know if they would have like, like what what kind of interaction they're gonna have and everything. So it wasn't necessarily haste, or it wasn't necessarily lethal. But just uh, 
setting out like the dread horde butcher or whatever as, as y'all can tell it wasn't on a Dreadhorde General. Who plays that card? Oh, I guess maybe we do. <laughs> yeah, if we had blue for Arcane Adaptation and made Judith a zombie, then her pings would be, yeah, board wipes. They would just kill people because Judith would have death touch. And so all these pings would just, like, kill stuff. Where's the good go? Would I rather have Bedevil than Lightning Strike? Duress over Carnage? Uh, you got your cat butt up on the screen. I'm going to go Bedevil, two Bedevil over the Carnage, and just that. That's it. Yeah, that's it. They're not going to have, yeah, they won't have Narcomibas, but they're just a, they're like a, a Demir mid-range deck with the Surveil sub-theme. I don't think we really need Duress. I'm not like too scared of like basically the the biggest scariest spell that they have is that Liliana the six mana Liliana but hopefully we can be a little faster. I want I don't want to water my deck down here with the dresses. Wrong card. So, like, I think, <clears throat> yeah, I like playing that Dreadhorde invasion there because I don't really mind if it gets countered. If it does, you know, if it doesn't get countered, that's great. If it does, it's okay. A moment of craving it right here. No way they have a third moment of craving, right? Nope, I guess there is a way. And of course, uh, whenever the Dreadhorde Butcher dies, it's a negative one, negative one, so it's not, it doesn't have any, the power, so it doesn't deal any damage to the opponent. Getting rid of the Bedevil means there's probably some Planeswalker that's going to terrorize me in my future. We don't have to worry about like them playing Liliana next turn. So I don't have to worry about like trying to go wide like this next turn. We'll have 
you know, potentially this is like a 6-6. Six, six. Next turn. And no. No. Stop taking my creature. My creature cool. House taker not cool. All right, we don't have to worry as much about dying now to our own Dreadhorde invasions, getting that hit in that buys us a couple more turns. All right, that's a 4-1. We are on to the final boss. Victory. All right, let's get this final boss playlist. All four final bosses tonight. We lost the first one, went 4-2. Defeated the other two. And now we're on for our fourth final boss of the night. And Johnny's been kicking butt for us. Great hand. Go, Butcher, go. The Judith, no. <laughs> How do you win all of the matchups with any deck people give you? Um, I don't know. I played a whole lot of Magic in my day. <laughs> I kind of know how to win with everything. Also had we've been pretty fortunate too today with a lot of good hands. Like this dreadhorde butcher here is kind of killing our opponent. Kind of killing our opponent. So we'll see if they have. See if they have like a sweeper. I'm not gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna play this Lazotep Re Reaver in case of a sweeper. You can tell Hawkeye's been doing some food. Is he ready for me to eat? Or ready for me to feed him? Oh, thanks, Zomber. Super cute. Yeah, I've had some good runs here. Three life. Down to two. Won't be able to shock in anymore. These 
gutter bones, finish them off. Yeah, we could draw a lightning strike or a carnage. Bleh. Bleh. Get him, Butcher. Get him. Ugh. So close. We're so close. We were on the play. In this game. Looks like we need to draw a lightning strike. I mean, a dreadhorde butcher would do it. Lightning strike, dreadhorde butcher, carnage. Um, My army will envelop this world. Probably Angrath. I don't know if Angrath will do it. They got to be sit sitting back, right? No, they're not. Yeah, so Angrath will do it. Uh, this does not do it. We got Lightning Strike. So four Lightning Strike, two Dreadhorde Butcher, two Carnage, and two Angrath. I guess Angrath doesn't do it anymore. No. We didn't have any widespread in the in the main. Judith wouldn't would not have Judith wouldn't not have worked. Because Judith doesn't trigger on the tokens whenever the tokens die or anything. Man, we were so close. They had that ritual of Sid exactly when they needed, and then Cry the Carnarium. That Cry the Carnarium was a killer. All right, so we got to switch up our deck a little bit and be better against Cry the Carnarium and uh, Ritual of Soot. So I'm going uh, full on Bedevil. What do we do against Esper Control? I just cut those completely. I just played it three theater, three Judith last time. I should be playing four theater. That card's clutch. Especially in this matchup where they don't have Mortify. I need all the bedevils to try to kill their four fours. Make the game go a little longer, let theater give theater time. No. Well. There goes my plan. Plans go awry with Thought Erasure. Plans go awry very quickly. Tomorrow, I'm going to be playing the. I'm, we're going to play the four decks that I'm considering for the uh, Mythic qualif Championship qualifier on Saturday. 
and we'll just we'll determine which one we want to play. So we're gonna play Grixis, uh, Bant Arcbow, Gruul, Midrange, and Four Color Dreadhorde. I think I'm, even though even though Four Color Dreadhorde is really really strong, I think I'm kind of off that deck because it's even though I still haven't really lost with that deck. Um, it's just so pop. It's just so popular. I don't really want to play like the real popular deck. Yeah, I like disinformation campaign a whole lot in Grixis right now. Um. Yeah. I don't I don't find it clunky, no. I I think it it's a really good mid-game card to help you hit your land drops to to get to your late game and and reduce resources of the opponent at the same time makes your your five mana nickel bolus a lot better. Um, and one reason why it's so good is because it pairs really well with playing sweepers. You know, it helps you hit your sweepers. Um, it lets you do stuff while not like necessarily putting things on the battlefield and having your and then being able to set up your sweepers really well. And with all the mana creatures around right now, sweepers are in a, in a great spot. With all like the aggro decks and then mana creature decks, like you want to be playing a bunch of Cryo Canariums and Ritual of Sets, so campaign is. I, re I really like campaign. I have a few openings for more minions if you're interested. Ah, Land number seven. I have other plans. I have been surprised about how many lands we've drawn with this, with this twenty-two land deck. Like we we just never got stuck on like two mana ever. We just always had all sorts of lands. I guess so with theater of horrors uh, it's always good to like play out all your lands but i guess if there's if they're thinking about maybe dispersaling again we we already have enough lands to cast the liana but then also like with them having like nickel bolus it doesn't make sense to keep lands in hand Uh, I don't, I don't know what tier I would put that that dredge deck that we played the other day. Probably not like super high. I, I've never been one that subscribes to the whole tier theory, though. I don't really like, like labeling decks in tiers. Here, the only prize I desire. Your head. Are they really gonna have a third dis dispersal? Probably not. <laughs> All right, I guess they have a third one. <clears throat> That's not so bad. Maybe better for us in the long run than them casting discovery and just finding like an answer and then setting up like their next turn. Right. Defiance. Like nine lands and fifteen cards. In our 22 land deck. That's kind of crazy, but this Dreadhorde invasion putting in work. It's putting in work. We have lethal here. Do they have nothing? 
still. Man. Yeah, the the last yeah that last song was um. It was yeah it was Zelda, Ocarina of Time. It it wasn't really technically a, a boss song in in Zelda, but it's just a really cool song. So, I have it in here. Charging the sleeves. I'm not sure what our out is right now. I mean, Liliana will be pain. My would be great. Intellect is without limit. Or a diagraph cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any lightning strikes in the deck. Another time, planeswalker. Witness I think I sideboard out all the lightning strikes and the carnages. I don't think we have any three damage direct direct damage. Let it out real bad. Yeah, we have theaters. They thought like them thought erasing on having the thought erasure on turn two to take the theater was critical. Okay. Can theater get us out of this? It's unlikely, right? Why would you attack with one why would you attack with a two two into a four four? This thing has summoning sickness. We can't attack with this. This just comes in with Dreadhorde invasion. We're getting rid of the Dreadhorde invasion. I will Ideally, we find Dreadhorde Butcher, I think. Weak minds I think that's the ideal one. I train every day. No hone your prowess. But getting rid of that means that the Nickel Bolus is still a three turn clock.
So if they want to enter the God Eternals, they have to kill their own Nicol Bolas. Yep, we need exactly Butcher the Horde next turn with no removal spell. Keep an open mind. This is basically impossible, but we need our opponent to not cast this Enter the God Eternals and not have any other removal and no instant speed removal or counter magic. <laughs> uh, double butcher, double duress. So close. So close. And you know, we can't we can't ping them and the devil. And that's the end of the night. They just have to nickel bolus minus. Where where game over. All right, not not a bad league though. Four and two, we'll take it. We were so close both of those games, we just flooded out both those games. So yeah, I, I I'll admit I did I did not think that we were ever going to cast these Lilianas, but <laughs> we cast them very easily in a lot of games. I was really yeah our twenty two land deck. I was pretty surprised how we we're just never like we always had lands and everything. But this was pretty sweet. Dreadhorde Invasion was awesome. Uh, the widespread brutalities in the sideboard were, were great, of course. Um, but the Lazatev Reavers were good. Obviously, Dreadhorde Butcher, Judith, awesome. Death Baron, pretty good, too. Um, yeah, deck worked, deck worked really well. No, the Dreadhorde Invasions were good. They were, they were definitely good. I mean, it looked like they, like they ate so many removal spells. Like, the one invasion, just keep making more creatures, just kept on eating so many removal spells. It's the reason why the games were longer. If we don't have Dreadhorde invasions, like, we weren't anywhere near some of those games. Um, but yeah, this was fun. Yeah, I think the Grixis Amass deck is probably better, but this one this one was a lot of fun. Uh, I kind of... I I don't think I really liked this Angrath. I kind of wish it was the other Angrath. I think other Angrath would have been really nice to have. To be able to just finish out games. Just going no fire, no steel. Uh, Carnival Carnage wasn't too good. It was, you know, it was fine. But it wasn't wasn't spectacular. Like maybe just Bedevil's main instead. or And then a couple Angrath sideboard. Something like that. Um... I have not played Boneyard. I have not tried Boneyard Parlay, no. Anyway, we're an hour late here because of all of our good records today. So I'm going to wrap it up. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button over there. But thank you so much for watching Rakdos Zombies. Uh, that's it for today. I will see you for another video.